In this tutorial, we will talk about sequence and series. Okay, we'll start by defining a sequence. A sequence is an orderly arrangement of terms with a common relationship between consecutive terms. And so on and so forth is a sequence. Each member of the sequence is called a term. T E R O M. Is there a difference between a sequence and a series? Yes. What then is a series? A series is a sum of the terms of a sequence. While one, comma two, comma three, comma four, comma five. Let's say to infinity is a sequence. One plus two plus three plus four plus five is a series. Now, let us talk about the nth term of a sequence. We can say nth term, or we can say general term, or we can also say last term. Okay? Now, I want to find the general term of this sequence. Four, five, six, seven. Let us find an expression for the general term of this very sequence. Four is equal to three plus one. Good. Five is equal to three plus two. Six is equal to three plus three. Seven is equal to three plus what? Four. One, two, three, four represent n. When I say first term, I'll write one. Second term, I'll write two. Third term, I'll write three. These three here, they are constant. So the general term or the nth term of this series will be this three, which is constant, plus n. Therefore, the nth term which we can write as u sub n or t sub n is equal to 3 plus n. So this is the general term of this very sequence. Let's check some other examples. I want to find the general term of the sequence. Okay, 3 is equal to 2 times 1 plus 1, right? 2 times 1 we give me 2, plus 1 is 3. Okay, what will 5 give me using this same principle? 2 times 2 plus 1 is equal to 5. Interesting. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. 7 is 2 times 3 plus 1. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. What will I write for 9? 9 will be... 2 times 4 plus what? 1. Because 2 times 4 is 8. And 8 plus 1 is 9. Now, check this out. I'm trying to bracket them now. Okay? These two here, they are constant, all true. Including the 1. They don't change. What is changing is this 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we want to replace those 1, 2, 3, 4 with n. So we can write the nth term, u sub n, as 2 times n, 2n plus 1. So that if I want to get the first term, it's just to put 1 here. 2 times 1, 2, plus 1, 3. I'll get my 3. If I want to get the third term, it's just to say 2 times 3, 6, plus 1, 7. 7 is number 3. That's the point. If I want to get the fourth term, 2 times 4, 8, plus 1, 9, I will get my 9. To determine the nth term of a sequence, you must inspect the sequence carefully. If I look at this sequence very well, I can see that 4 is 2 raised to the power of 2, 9 is 3 to the power of 2, 16 is 4 to the power of 2. 25 is 5 to the power of 2. This is what I'm saying. 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, 
5 squared. Okay. 2 is 1 plus 1. Right? I can still square it. If I square it, I will have 1 plus 1 squared, which is 2 squared. 3 is 1 plus 2. If I square it, I have 1 plus 2 squared. 1 plus 2 is 3. 4 is 1 plus 3 because 1 plus 3 is 4. Observe something. The, all of these 1, 1, 1, they are not changing. What is changing here are these 1, 2, and 3. Okay? So, we can use a letter to represent all of these varying numbers while this 1 and the square remain constant. So, we can write the nth term as u sub n equal to 1, all of this 1, which is a constant, plus n raised to the power of 2. This is the nth term. So that if I want to say second term, I'll put 2 here. 1 plus 2, 3. That's 3 squared. I have 3 squared as the second term. It's as simple as this. Have we learned how to determine the nth term of a sequence? Let us learn now how we can get the terms of a sequence when given the nth term. Now, I am giving this t sub n equal to 3n minus 4 as the nth term of a sequence. The question says, write out the first four terms of the sequence that is given by this. The nth term is equal to 3n minus 4. Okay, so the first four terms, that is from 1 to 4. So the first term, which is t sub 1, is equal to I will simply write 1 in place of n. 3 times 1 minus 4. 3 times 1 is 3. And 3 minus 4 is minus 1. So the first term is minus 1. What will be the second term? I will put 2 here. 3 times 2 minus 4. And that's 6 minus 4, which will give me what? 2. What will be the third term as well? That will be 3 times 3 minus 4. 3 times 3 is 9. And what's 9 minus 4? 5. Okay. The fourth term, here we are going to stop. That will be 3 times 4 minus 4. 3 times 4 is 12. And 12 minus 4 is simply 8. So these are the first four terms of the sequence that is given by this nth term. So we can write the sequence as minus 1, 2, 5, it, and so on and so forth. These are the first four terms. I want to find the first four term of this sequence given by t sub n equal to minus 2 to the power of 2n. The first term will be equal to minus 2 to the power of 2 times 1. n is 1. That's 2 times 1. That's minus 2 to the power of 2. Minus 2 squared is equal to 4. That is minus 2 times minus 2. What will be the second term? Minus 2 to the power of 2 times 2. N is now 2. That is minus 2 to the power of what? 4. And minus 2 to the power of 4 will give me positive 16. Take note that under indices, if you raise a negative number to a power that is even, the negative number turns to positive. Now, what will be the third term, t3? Minus 2 to the power of 2 times 3. All right, so we have minus 2 to the power of 6. Minus 2 to the power of 6 is positive 64. Okay, the fourth term. Now, let's find it. We have minus 2 to the power of 2 times 4. Okay, 2 times 4 is 8. So we have minus 2 raised to the power 8. Minus 2 to the power of 8 is equal to 256. 256. So the first four terms of the sequence are 4, 16, 64, and 256. So the sequence can continue as the case may be. I want you to do this and drop your answer in the comment section. Determine the first four term of the sequence that is given by this nth term. Un is equal to 
minus 1 upon 3 all to the power of n minus 1. Solve it and drop your answer in the comment section. It's going to be reviewed. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and don't forget to share this video to your friends and your classmates. I will see you in the next video.